All right, we're going to Spain tomorrow. I want to do a quick little video for you guys. I know I haven't done these classic Kino body videos in a long time, but today it feels very, very fitting. I want to share one of my father's favorite quotes. He used to chant to himself when he started from nothing, when he was really building his empire, building his business, and things were going wrong and everything was kind of going against him. And the quote was, it's by Napoleon Hill. With every adversity comes a seed of an equal or greater benefit. He used to chant this to himself. And no matter how bad life was right now, guess what? It's going to get really, really good. And so he believed this fully, okay? Now, most people, when things go wrong, they get into victim. They get in the victim mode. They get negative. They get down. They complain. And they resist. This is the key here. They resist this moment. You know, see, I remember when I, at one point I was getting in shape and then gaining weight, getting in shape, gaining weight. You know, when I was around 19, 20, 21, sometimes I'd be really lean and sometimes I'd gain weight. And as time went on, I felt like I was getting further and further away from really being in shape. I wouldn't get as lean, I'd gain weight and I'd get into a higher weight. At one point I was 194, about 17% body fat. I had one or two photos in that shape, maybe a five pounds leaner because I didn't want to take that photo. And I remember just feeling like, damn, I don't want to be here. I don't want to be here. I want to fast forward and be 8% body fat and be lean. I don't want to go hang out with my friends. When I'm walking down the street, I don't feel good with how I look. I had a very high expectation for my fitness. I did not feel good how I looked. Every single day, was a means to an end, to finally finish this, this last cut to get lean. And so long that I had that mindset, I would jump on more extreme diets, take my calories too low, do a bit too much cardio, and I would do it and I'd lose some weight and then I'd binge and I'd eat and I'd gain weight, okay? It's a very dangerous place to be. And I was listening to, you know, my mentor at the time had me do a lot of Eckhart Tolle, power of now, practicing the power of now. A new earth is actually probably my favorite. And it's interesting. I remember hearing one of these passages and it really hit me. I was viewing the present moment as a stepping stone to the future. There was no fullness of life now. You know, in A New Earth, Eckhart Tolle talks about that most people, they view the present moment as a stepping stone to the future. I'll only be enough when. You know, life will only be good when. Happiness will be when I have this. Money, car, girlfriend, body. And all you're doing is telling yourself, you're not enough now. You're not good enough now. Life is not enough now, right? Now a step further, some people see the present moment as an obstacle to overcome. I don't wanna be here, oh my God, this is stressful. We gotta get over this obstacle, over this hump, right? It's even a more negative way. And of course, like the victims, the people that are really down, they view the present moment as an enemy. They're just resisting, they're hating, they're fighting, they don't like this. And because life is inseparable from the present moment, life is now. When the future comes, it's the now. Right now, sitting here, if you think about the future, think about the past, it's a mental projection. Because life is inseparable from now, when you resist this moment, you resist life. And so I remember listening to these passages and I realized I was resisting life. I was resisting where I was, my current position, the fact that I, I put on 15 pounds, I was binge eating, I wasn't in shape. I was resisting how I looked in the mirror. And sure enough, I realized, well, fuck. The only way to get through is to accept where I am right now. And as soon as I accepted, well, fuck. I'm 194, I got 20 pounds to lose. This is gonna take some time. As soon as I accepted where I was, the weight was off my shoulders. I was finally free, right? I was finally free to transform. I was finally free and able to finally do things correctly, not rush the process, take the time, get a bit leaner every day, enjoy the process. So long that I resisted how I looked and where I was and oh, I don't wanna be here. I would just do extreme stuff that I couldn't sustain and I would fall down, fall down, fall down again. If you guys have seen me, you're wondering how does this guy live a cool lifestyle, go out for dinners and stay in really, really good shape year round. This is part of it. I wouldn't have been able to do this if I did not dial in this mindset. So one of the most powerful things you can do in spiritual teaching, there's three elements, non-judgment, non-attachment, and non-resistance. If you can le learn to not resist this moment, to accept this moment, now you're free to make the best possible 
move, the best move on the chessboard. You're free to take right action, transformative action. But when you're resisting it, you cannot transform when you're resisting. So it's very, very important. If you wanna live the best possible life, maybe you're upset with your finances, maybe you had a financial hit, maybe you're upset with your dating life, maybe you lost someone you cared about, or you know, you're struggling to go and meet a partner. Maybe your resistance of your health, your fitness. Accept the current position you're in right now. Accept it fully. From there, you can make smart decisions. But if you're still complaining, oh, I lost all this money or I lost my job and this sucks, then the quote, with every adversity comes a seed of an equal greater benefit, that quote, you'll never be able to take advantage of it. If that opportunity, that door comes, you're not gonna see it. You're gonna be blind to it because you're gonna still be resisting. So this is one of the most important things to dial in. In my coaching program, we do these really awesome calls with the mindset. And this is more powerful than the programs and the fitness itself. The mindset is so important. This is sort of how my brand evolved. I was working on the, the presence and working on this goal, but it was the mindset that really allowed me to break free and achieve it. So I just want to share this really quick video with you while it was uh, fresh on my mind. I'm off to Spain tomorrow. You're going to do a little trip to Europe, but I appreciate you guys so much. I want to share this. This again, this is my father had a few quotes he would chant to himself. One of them is on my shoulder, make no small plans. But this was one of his favorites he would chant when things were going bad. And he had that, that, that just concrete belief. Things were gonna get really, really good. And your internal reality uh, creates your external reality. The world you have within you, how you see yourself within you, your thoughts, your beliefs will manifest into your outer world. And so most people, even if they start to make some progress, they start to get up, they put some money's coming in. You know, maybe they're getting some traction with a, with a love interest and then boom, it sabotages because the inner world becomes your outer world. So be in a state of non-resistance and that's when things will start to get a lot better. Take care.